Hello my name's Freya and welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and also thank you to some new subscribers, greatly appreciate you. So today I just want to show you some new things and try them out um, I've got today and I want to talk about some stuff that you know I've already tried and I've got some things in my glossy box. I am a subscriber to glossy box so I got that today. So first I want to talk about the Yenza 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask 8 Super Orange Essence this here this is fantastic so you mainly use it about three to four times a week basically you just um you put it on damp skin and you just put it all over leave it on five to ten minutes and then you wet your fingers massage it in all the little beads they sort of disappear as you massage it in and then you rinse off after two minutes of massaging and it is amazing it smells amazing i love anything pumpkin this is pumpkin turmeric oh it's gorgeous and my skin felt so soft and just lovely and um yeah it's well worth the money absolutely love this so the next thing i want to talk about is i've been on a little journey of finding the best way to remove my makeup I wear a lot of makeup obviously I do quite strong looks and um, you know I have a lot to get off and uh, some of the makeup is waterproof as well so you know some just normal gel cleansers just don't get the job done first I use the Elemis cleansing balm it's a rose one um, I have done a video with products I use products empty so that should be up soon so first I use that for a while it's very strong a rose scent obviously and um, I mean it did the job but it wasn't my favorite although guaranteed I haven't really tried anything before then except for um, you know one where somebody's made up their own and they do their own skincare which they make organically and that I found really hard to work with so I wanted to try something different and I got Acti Labs Luxury, Luxury Cleansing Balm this one here and um, quite honestly I've been using this for about a week now actually you need to wipe in i've been using that for about a week now and it takes off my makeup lovely it doesn't feel sticky it feels so nice on the skin after i always double cleanse anyway so i wash with a cleanse um foam cleanser after but um yeah this is great stuff well worth it um i love it i think i'll definitely be repurch repurchasing this although I would like to try that zero so I don't know so the other things I want to talk about is I bought some products myself some pixie products I only have few um like minis which I've bought in the past so I wanted to try the pixie body treats and I got the which I've only got this today so I used this today glycolic body lotion with glycolic acid and ginseng and so I've literally just used this and it felt good it dries down really well it's not like oily on your skin or anything I mean my skin feels really soft there was some like itching a bit after it being put on but you know with glycolic acid any chemical exfoliants you kind of expect that because your skin has to adjust but this smells amazing it dries down lovely it just feels so good and it's a great body lotion to be putting on you know uh when you're about to go out to be putting on in the morning love this so the next thing i want to try so my face is washed is pixie skin treats vitamin wake up mist so i've got that i got this today i'll just uh take the wrap it off So before any skincare, I always spray a mist. I want that skin to be damp because uh, when your skin is damp, it absorbs the products much better. So I'll give this a shake. 
and um, let's see how this goes. Just lift my fringe wig up a minute. Oh, that's quite a powerful spray. I love the way the nozzle is top, but I probably sprayed a bit too much. It's uh, very refreshing. It feels quite good. Really like that. Wow. I'm so glad I got that. Oh, it feels so nice on my skin. So then the next thing I want to use, which I bought myself, um, is the Rose Caviar Essence with Rose and Grape Seed Oil by Pixie Skin Treats. So this says it's um, encapsulated flower oils suspended in this weightless serum essence melt it onto the skin delivering fresh botanics to hydrate and restore skin's brightness for optimum radiance. Formulated with antioxidant rich natural oils this formula will soften, refine and tone. For all skin types use AM and PM. I like the sound of that, that's why I bought it. Just take the little thing off. Just get a small amount on there. So it's a gel. Don't want to put too much on as I am wearing makeup. Oh, it smells very rosy. It feels very hydrating. Mmm. Oh, it feels lovely. It is weightless. And it has a cooling effect to it. Really nice. Ooh. So I'll just get rid of the box there. That's the side. So the next things I've got here is the saint lux set and spray i got this with glossy box this month's glossy box so it says our lightweight micro fine setting mist helps your skin to retain moisture and set your makeup with a glowy finish not only is our setting spray formulated to help you achieve flawless makeup it can also be used on clean skin formulated with active ingredients like purslane and hyaluronic acid which helps accelerate the healing of damaged skin and instantly hydrates leaving a dewy finish so have that uh, again in glossy box i got this lip power uh, by josephine cosmetics and it says lip power is a naturally formulated liquid lipstick with beautiful colors and a superb moisturizing texture made with olive rosehip jehovah oils and vitamin e so i'll be using those two also got this which is spotlight highlight pencil for eyebrows and inner corner highlight and this also has moisturizing properties it's in the color champagne so I'll be trying that out too uh, also to try is milk makeup highlighter I haven't used that yet I've had that for a while and I also have this cab cosmetics highlighter in beam so I'll be using that also so I'm just gonna prep the skin so first I just want to put on a moisturiser. I'm going to use this Mud Masky Leave Me On Winter Mask. Because I really want some hydration. I'm literally using this as a moisturiser. I'm using that. I'm also, so I'll just let that sit there for a minute. Saturday skin, um, just Saturday skin eye gel. It's really moisturising. I really like this one. I'll just put that on there and just massage this into the skin.
I have got some more Pixie products come in, uh, which is moisturiser, serum and a cleanser. Looking forward to receiving them. And apparently a little free gift the guy put in. <laughs> so there's the skin preps. And now I'm just going to, um, oh, not fully prepped. SPF 50, this is Face Fluid by Ultra Sun. Love this. Only need a small amount. Because it's really important to wear SPF. That will protect your skin from any further damage. And especially when you are using acids and whatnot on your face, which I do, you want to also maintain the work you've put in and prevent further damage. And that's what the FPF does. I'm going light with the foundation. I'm using Florence by Meals Like a Light. I'm just going to take this beauty blender here. I usually use brushes, but lately I've just been using a beauty blender to apply because it's quick and easy. You need to start getting through a lot of my concealers, so I've grabbed this one, which is the NYX. Born to Glow, Radiant Concealer, and what shade is this in? Fair. So I'm just going to pop that there. Bit in the middle, down the nose. And just use the tip of my Beauty Blender there. is dampened. You should always dampen your beauty blenders. It leaves a more natural finish. So I wasn't actually going to film today, I was going to be painting the bathroom and kitchen. I got this new paint, well I say new, I've had it literally for about a year and I just haven't done it yet because you know I've been going through a lot of changes this year with my medication and whatnot. So. Yeah, I just haven't felt like doing that. But um, I'll show you, I've got the paint here. So I got this paint, it's kitchen paint and it's toffee apple, look at the red. So I'm going to use that because I've only got a small amount of wool in my bathroom to paint. So I'm going to paint that and then I'm going to paint the kitchen. Um, hopefully I could do all the walls in the kitchen with the paint that's left. I don't know. If not, I'll just leave a wall which is like dark grey. It'll go with the red. So that was my plan for today and it didn't work out. It just didn't happen. I, I woke up feeling really rough, um, really, really tired. Uh, it's because I'm coming off this deloxetine which is uh, antidepressant it's also used for nerve pain and that's what I was using it for nerve pain not antidepressant and um, yeah you know it made me feel rubbish coming off it every day I felt rough so I'm just going to use the oh hang on that's the wrong one I don't want to use that here we go so I'm just going to use the Laritzi Cosmetics uh, contour stick there. Just do a little bit. I'm not going to go right up to the top because I have got fringe today. Just do a little bit. 
and let's see what can I use I use this uh, real techniques just a little tiny contour brush I'll just put that in just blending it along there so yeah I've, I've been feeling really sick every single day i wake up feeling like i've got a hangover i'm waking during the night from nightmares which is a common side effect from it and um it's just you know because of that i'm just finding it really hard to do stuff um doing this is fine though because i find it relaxing it takes my mind off it i really enjoy it um because i enjoy it you know it automatically makes me feel good so I'm just sort of sitting down doing it so it's not taking a hell of a lot of energy and even editing I just find really relaxing so just gonna blend that in there into the neck and along my jawline so now I've got that down I want to use this milk makeup highlighting Light stick. I don't usually use highlighting sticks. So I'm wondering if this is going to take off. Doesn't really show, does it? I'm not really seeing much. Hmm not seeing much at all all right it's not i mean it's great for natural look i'm going to put that aside and i want to use something i haven't used yet now i've got a choice because i don't usually use liquid um highlighters i don't i've got away we glow liquid booster booster liquid I'm not exactly sure what you use that for. I guess it's a highlighter. Glaze donuts, beige glaze. Yeah, I think I'll leave that one. I'll use that another time. Illuminator. No, that sounds more like my thing by Iconic London. Let's give it a shape first. So I'm just going to. Put a dot there, dot there, teeny, tiny dot there, and one there. That is all I'm going to do because I don't want it going crazy. Maybe that's already a bit too much, I don't know. But I'm going to use the butt of my beauty blender and just start blending that in. Oh, yeah. It's lovely. Just needed the small amount. Don't know why I don't use liquid highlighters. I really don't. Just gonna use the tip of my beauty blender just to sort of blend that bit a little bit. My nose. just on the tip there well right so the next thing I'm going to use because I want to just try and use different things okay the next thing I'm going to go for is use a blush serum by Colourpop it's the dewy cheek and this is in passion flower so I'm just going to take a little bit and put that on the beauty blender rather than straight on my cheek. And I'm just going to put that just below where I put that liquid highlighter. Sort of bring it up. Just want a very natural finish today. Oof. Yeah, that is nice. 
Oh, I love that. It's Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Lavender. And I'm just going to get this Colourpop F28 brush. Just uh, put that on. Give that a tap. Oh, I'm glowing. For a sort of autumn fall look. Actually looking very summer. <laughs> it's fine. It may look like I'm putting loads on. I'm not. I'm just taking a very small amount. Editing me here. I don't know what happened but my camera was not recording first time that's happened i'm so sorry you missed that first bit so i wanted to show you and that i thought i did show you was that i am using ColourPop stone cold fox palette 30 shades we have four sequins 16 mattes and nine shimmers i use you rock in my um like crease then i use rumor mill on the outer v bringing it through the light like, socket and under the lower lash line now the reason why i wanted to do this look today and do it in neutral because generally i do colorful looks because most palettes that i get new are colorful and that's what i want to show you guys uh the reason why is because i was watching my friend erica conga's youtube channel the other day her latest upload where she uses abh jackie Ina palette and she always creates such a beautiful neutral looks she does other colors as well it's not all neutrals but you know her neutrals are fantastic and it just inspired me so much and yeah you know she's such a lovely sweet person she's fun to watch she's funny i love just hearing her talk and doing her makeup and i'm always blown away at the look she creates so please guys go over to her channel it's going to be down in the link along with all the products i've mentioned and used uh, during this video so please go down to uh, the link below click on it and subscribe to her channel you will not be disappointed so again i am so sorry that i messed up and i was not recording this first bit but you know you get to see the shimmers and the rest of the makeup and i've got all the products in there <laughs> so thank you let's get back into the video glam light flat brush here and i want to take the um oof, silver i want to take the silver so i do want to use that silver now this is the thing i'm thinking this pink here and this silver because i think the other shades are perhaps a bit too warm with the grey no actually so i'm gonna take the silver which is called magnetic moon and then i'm going to use sediment to be so i'm using the silver here and then i'm using this one here uh cover fx setting spray it's gonna give it a couple of sprays there I'm just going to apply that to the inner third. That is lovely. I do really love Colourpop's shimmers. Mm. So there is Magnetic Moon Down. I'm now going to use the other side and take that uh, sediment to be that lovely light taupey like golden color and i'm going to again spray with the cover fx setting spray i hope this goes well together it looked very cool tone so it should do 
like gold. Just gonna put that towards that um, out of V. Just blend. Just want to get a little bit more of that. Blend the two together ever so slightly in the middle. Use that big fluffy brush I used with the first um, shade I put down. I'm just gonna use that just to blend around these edges i'm going to take that um e25 brush take a little bit more of rumor mill give it a tap i'm just going to tap that in the outer v area going up with that first blending brush just on those edges it's lovely oh I really love that right now lower lash line and um, what I want to use for the inner part I'm just going to wipe this brush a little bit take off those other shimmers Okay, again using this Glam Light brush, I'm going to go for I Dig It, which is this lovely like champagne sort of colour, it's very bright. I'm going to take that, just get that on the tip, give it a spray. I'm going to put that on the first third of the lower lash line. going to take that um, rumor mill that dark grey again and just stamp that along that lower lash line just to build up the darkness there that is great that's the shadows done really loving that i do need to do in a corner highlight which i will do soon but first i just want to do my brows so i'm going to use a brown tamer by urban decay and it's in dark and i'm just gonna put that on there i want a uh, more of a natural brow today I do like um, doing my brows really dark and thick and like more, you know, that sort of look, gothic look. I do enjoy that, but I'm not the best at it. I need practice, which is what I'm doing every time I do it. Sometimes it goes great, other times it doesn't. Now using uh, precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. I'm just going to use that, quite a sharp sort of pencil. Just to fill them in and do the shape.
brow highlighter spotlight by spotlight highlighter pencil crayon let's give it a go so it's gonna just go under the brow all the way along just like that Well, it says it's easy to blend, so just loose. Okay, I'm now just going to use a really small Real Techniques brush here, just a um, really tiny one. I'm going to use that just to blend that in a bit. Yeah, I really like that. Definitely brightens up. You also, you could also use this, you could also use this for inner corner highlights. So let's give it a go. I mean, I already have shadow in that corner anyway. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe if I didn't have shadow in there. I don't know, but I mean, I really like it for under the brow. I think that looks very pretty. I like it. Okay, now for uh, the lashes. Just use some eyelash curlers. It's a Lash Princess uh, Sculpting and Volume Mascara. sure whether I'm going to be able to use that lipstick which I got today I'm not sure because I don't know what color it is I haven't checked so we we'll just see what I really want is a gray liquid lipstick I got one the other week but it really wasn't good these Rimmel soft coal white eyeliner just to really brighten up that waterline I'm oh, really watering. Every time I put eyeliner in lately, my eyes just water. Unless it's a gel liner, you know the sort which comes in tubs. So um, there's that done. I'm now just gonna do my bottom lashes with the same mascara, making sure I wipe off that end there.
Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to put lashes on today. Need some no I need some new lashes anyway. Um, these are the ones, although I like them, they are really big and, you know, um, they're all right for dramatic, like, over the top looks. But, uh, not every day. I want to see whether I could use the Lip Power by Josephine Cosmetics. I'll try and open it first and it's in the shade meat tip thing oh it looks delicious it's a red oh you know what can i wear that let's just see very warm I don't know no, I am not sure What a beautiful red. No, really, I don't think that this goes with these eyes. I really don't. Let's move that wig down a bit. I don't know. Looks very dramatic. Ooh. This lip, liquid lipstick is lovely. It feels so nice. It feels light. The colour. I love the colour. Wow. I mean, mm, so nice. So guys, this is the finished look. This is what I've done today. I love it. Really like it. I think perhaps I would have gone for a more neutral lip. But hey, let's stick with this. After all, this is a video about um, first impressions, new products that I've got and the Stone Cold Fox palette by Colourpop. I love using this. I, I, I know that I've dipped into it once and um, I don't know, it's just one of those days where, you know, you, things just aren't going right. I wasn't in the mood for doing makeup so I scrapped that and I haven't used it since. But today, this look I created, I absolutely love it and um, I can't wait to use this again and I will be, I'll be definitely using this again. I mean look at the amount of shades you get, uh, the formula is brilliant as always, love colour pop formula, love the shimmers, you could create a lot of looks from this so um, yeah I, I mean it would be nice to be using some of these berry tones. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the sequins are just like match, you know, the the glitter just brushes away anyway, so 
you know um such a wonderful palette so thank you for joining me today guys i hope you um like this video please like and subscribe and come back soon thank you bye